Welcome to IBC 2023. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries. Exploring groundbreaking innovation across 13 halls, right here in Amsterdam. Ashley within Broadcast, joining me is Freddie of Nugent Audio, hello. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Great to see you. So can you tell me about Nugent Audio's position right now in the media and broadcasting industry and how you're preparing for the future? Sure. So um, people may or may not know our specialties are kind of loudness management and also surround and immersive workflows. Um, so particularly immersive audio is obviously over the past few years and it looks like moving forward it's becoming more and more of a concern. So uh, we've been adding 714 support to pretty much all of our plugins over the past few months. Uh, I think there's maybe a couple still to go. But uh, yeah, and, and moving forward, as kind of uh, technology develops and people add even more channel counts to things, then we'll, we'll be uh, following as you know, following the industry as it goes. Very good. And so, speaking of which, what trends are you seeing right now as far as technology in the media and broadcasting industry? So, we've been having some really interesting conversations at IBC this year, actually, about dialogue intelligibility. Um, over the past few years, people have been talking a lot about. Uh, dialogue being consistent in terms of loudness but that to some extent isn't really getting to the core of the the problem of it actually being intelligible so uh, a lot of the time you hear people complaining about watching you know uh, on-demand streaming and not being able to hear what people are saying so many people I know now just have subtitles on all the time whenever they're watching anything and you know that that's not great like we want people to be able to watch the show or the film or whatever that they're watching. Um, so yeah, there's been some really interesting conversations over the past couple of days about um, dialogue intelligibility and what we can do to uh, improve that across the industry. And I believe you have two new products here at IBC. Can you tell me a little bit about those? We do. So we're previewing two products uh, at IBC this year. So that's VizLM3 and AB Assist 2. So those are both major updates for existing products, but it's uh, yeah, pretty pretty major overhauls for both of them. Yeah, and so, what are the major game-changing new features in Viz LM3 versus Viz LM2? Am I saying that right? You are. You are saying it right. So, um, the main changes in Viz LM3, um, I'd say there's kind of three or four pretty major new features. So, the first one is um, that we've added in segments. So a lot of the time now, a lot of broadcasters are, um, rather than just asking for an integrated loudness target for an entire program, uh, they want mixers to hit a loudness target for each section, like between ad breaks, um, which makes total sense, but it's been quite difficult for audio engineers to actually do that in a straightforward way. It involves some quite fiddly routing or, or setting up a whole new project for each there's just not an easy way of doing it. But we've added in segments into this LM, so um, that's gonna be automatically detected, but you will be able to fine tune that or you can just um, define that manually as well. As well as that, we've added in what we're calling stem monitoring, which is kind of a misnomer. Um, what it essentially means is that if you have multiple instances of this LM in the same project, those will automatically link up and rather than having to open a whole new window and have three or four different instances of VizLM open in the same project, um, you'll be able to just switch between different views or have them overlaid over each other. So that means that if you're measuring separately your whole mix and your dialogue and your music and your effects and your Foley and whatever else, um, you, you'll be able to have all that information holistically in one place. Uh, and the final thing is we've imported the uh, notes functionality from our Jota plugin. So basically that's going to make it much, much easier for engineers to share notes and feedback with other members of the team who might not necessarily be using VizLM, but you can yeah, have those notes imported uh, and yeah, see exactly what your higher ups or colleagues or whoever else are trying to tell you about the, uh, about the mix. And so how has AB Assist been improved from the original version? So AB Assist has been around quite a long time, but it's always been what um, our marketing manager likes to call a stealth product, which essentially means it, it wasn't available on our, on our store, but uh, people have been able to get hold of it for, for quite a long time. 
AV Assist 2, the new version, is actually going to be available on the main new gen audio store. Um, for those who don't know, AB Assist is uh, an AB comparison tool for blind testing. So for testing either two different mixes, two different takes, two different signal chains, whatever it might be. Um, so the new version, AB Assist 2, now allows you to blind test up to four different um, mixes or whatever they are, rather than just two. Um, it also allows you to uh, blind test surround audio. Previously, it was just stereo, um, and we've gotten rid of the uh, what we call the pods functionality. So that was some additional plugins that came for free with a lot of our tools called New Gen Send and New Gen Receive, which were quite useful but were also quite clunky to use. So we're gradually phasing those out, and AB Assist 2 and in fact Visual M3 that I was talking about before don't use those. They connect automatically, which just makes the whole user experience a lot smoother. Uh, oh, and final thing, actually, um, AV Assist 2 has short-term loudness matching. So that means that when you are doing those kind of blind tests, um, you won't get tricked by the, uh, the excitement of hearing something louder. Often, if you're trying to do a blind test, you're trying to decide which mix or which take is actually better. And psychologically, it's very easy to go for the louder one because it just sounds more exciting but we're going to have short-term loudness matching in order to prevent that from happening uh, so you won't end up tricking yourself. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Have a great rest of the thank show. Thank you. Cheers.